I know I'm better than all of you in math. I guarantee you I got the highest score out of everyone. So you guys are competing for second place. What? What? Tyler, there's no way you're better than Chris. He's like the best math student in the whole school. I don't mean to brag, but I've never done a math test. I'm kind of a math whiz, but hey Tyler, second place isn't so bad. I bet you an extra pudding at lunch that I get a higher grade than you. Mmm, pudding. You're on. Now, now boys, so don't have to chit chat. Here are your tests back. Everyone did very good. I'm pleased to say that no one failed. As long as you can work hard and bring your grades a bit, just apply yourself. Oh, I didn't fail. I passed too, just barely. I've got to study harder. Well, maybe I can give you fellas some pointers, because I didn't even study. Read it in wheat, boys. A minus. No way any of you did better than that, especially you, Chris. Mmm, I can already taste the flavor. Chocolate. No, wait. Vanilla. One hundred. You got a hundred? No way. You're lying. There's no way you're better than me at math. Look for yourself. I think you're right. Vanilla sounds good. Double or nothing. You might have gotten lucky and beat me on this dumb old test, but there's no way you're better than me at basketball. I don't know, Chris. Tyler like never misses, and he's the tallest kid in our grade. I'm not afraid of him. I know I'm better. If he shoots like he has, I'll be fine. <laughs> You're on. See you on the playground. Clap, children. You can argue later. Right, time is still eleven. Math student, Chris, but nobody's a better basketball player than me at this school. Boom! Game over! In your face! Never mind. I told you nobody's better than me! Now I'm getting even more pudding! Mmm, pudding! Wait, wait, wait. I can't lose. I never lose. I can beat you in something. Uh, I bet I can hold my breath longer than you. Yeah, that's it. <gasps> saying that Jesus has a really good jump shot? I'm confused. How is he better? Well, do you kids remember how the Jews used to deal with their sins? Did it? They have to make sacrifices with animals in order to be right with God? Right, but it was only temporary, meaning that it only lasted for a little while before they had to do it again. It wasn't good enough until the, until something better came, and that was Jesus. So are you telling me when Jesus came, 
He was better than the old way? Exactly correct. And that's why we don't make sacrifices today. Because Jesus is better than the stuff the Jews used to do. And that's exactly what the book of Hebrews is all about. Oh, I get it. When Jesus died on the cross, he was a better sacrifice. I think I understand why he did that much better now. If Jesus was so much better than everything else, I'm going to read Hebrews to find all about it. I'm going to try to be more like Jesus so I can be better. Hey, Chris, if you want, I can help you with your shot a bit. You can always get better with practice. That sounds great. I can help you with your math. We can study together. Studying? Ugh, gross. But okay, I need the help. Great job, boys. Just because Jesus is the best doesn't mean we can't try to better ourselves, too. We don't have to be so competitive all the time. That being said, lots of math requires with the rhyme head. Hey, that's not fair. You got a head start. You better not eat all the pudding. Mmm, pudding. Clear.